In this video, I'm going to tackle one of the confusing topic in the networking world, which is what is the difference between a VLAN and SVI? SVI is called a switched virtual interface. It has another name for it that is interface VLAN. So the question is, where do you create VLAN? Where do you create SVI? Do they work independently or they need to be together to work synchronously? So I'm going to tackle all these in this lab. This is a three-layer architecture environment. I have a core at the top and then radial and at the bottom I have access layer. I have done some configuration in this topology, but I have not done any configuration related to VLAN or SVI, which is the topic for this lab. Let me show you what I have done so far. So I have assigned IP addresses for these PCs and I have made these links as a trunk link and I have named these switches. That's what I have done so far. So let me go to this switch and I am going to configure both VLANs, that is VLAN 10 for students, VLAN 20 for staff. Conf T, I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste here. So I have created VLAN 10 and copy, paste. Now I have created VLAN 20. And let me show you, show VLAN. I have both VLANs created. So I'm going to put these two ports, FA01 and FA03 into VLAN 10. Conf T int FA01, switch port access VLAN 10. I'm going to use my upper O key to go to change. This is to three and uh, down upper row key again to go back to that command. These two ports are in VLAN 10. So let me go to this PC and ping this PC. So go to this one and I'm going to try to ping 102. So I am able to ping this PC within VLAN 10. So let me show you one of the important concept in networking is, if I go to settings, you see I have no gateway set. So to ping another PC within same broadcast domain, you don't need a gateway. So let me show you where you need a gateway. I go to this PC, and then try to ping this PC because these are in different VLANs. And I try to ping 101 and I am sure I am not able to do that because this is in a different VLAN. So it is going to time out. So this is where the concept of gateway and SVI come in. So the question is, where do you create the SVI? Do you create in the access layer or do you create in the radial layer, or you create in the core layer? The best practice is you create that in the core layer. So let me create that in this core layer. So I'm going to go to this core switch, enable, conf t, int VLAN 10, and then I'm going to take this IP address, Copy, go back here, I'm going to paste it. So it took my IP address. And show run. So let's look at the VLAN first. Show VLAN. If you see here, I have not created the VLAN yet, but I have created the SVI. So let me show you, show run. And if you go down, in the path, you see I have the SVI for VLAN 10. So let me see whether I can ping the SVI without creating VLAN in this core switch. So I'm going to go to this PC, 
desktop and see whether I can ping my gateway 1.1. You see here, I'm sure I'm not going to be able to ping that IP address. So it is timing out. So let me go back here and I create VLAN. On T, and I'm going to create this VLAN in this switch. Copy, paste. Now I have this VLAN created and I have the SVI also configured. So let me go back and see whether I can ping now. Go back. It might lose one pink. So I am not able to do that. So let me see what is the problem. So if you see here, let me, sh let me see the trunk. Show int, show in trunk. So I have VLAN 10 there. Okay, the problem is I do not have the VLAN in this one. That is the problem. So let me go to this switch and see that is true or not. Show VLAN. I do not have VLAN 10. So let me go and create. So this is how you troubleshoot networking. Find out what can be the problem causing the issue. Okay, I have created the VLAN now. And, and now I go to this switch and see whether I can ping. Okay, if you see here, I got the ping now. Because it takes some time for the MAC address to get populated among the switches. If I ping now, I should be able to ping. So this explains you clearly how VLAN and SVI need to work together for the networking to work. So now we have experimented that on VLAN 10. Now we should be able to do that easily to VLAN 20 configuration. So let me Go here and see whether I have VLAN 20, show VLAN. I do not have VLAN 20. So uh, let me create the interface here first. Conf T, int, int VLAN 20. And I'm going to paste this IP address here. Paste. So I have created the interface, not yet the VLAN, because I need to do the experiment again with VLAN 20. And now I come to this switch, enable conf T, and I create VLAN 20 here. Paste. So I have created VLAN 20. And I have to create VLAN 10 also because I do not have VLAN 10 created here. Paste. And I should do this one here also. Show VLAN. I have not created VLAN 20 here. Can't T. VLAN copy paste. VLAN 20 is being created. I know I have created both here. Now I am going to go to this one, conf T. VLAN 10, copy. So you can use copy and paste a lot to do your configuration. And so I have created both VLANs in this one, this one, and I need to put these ones into the right ports. So I'm going to go here. That is 
zero one and zero three on VLAN twenty. Exit interface FA zero one switch port access VLAN twenty three also VLAN twenty and this is two is going to be on VLAN ten. That is two VLAN 10. So you use copy and paste and up arrow and down arrow a lot when you do the configuration. It makes your life much easier. All right, that is done. And I have to do this to this PC. That is 02. Enable county int FA 0 to switch port access VLAN 20. All right, so everything is done. Now I'm going to ping this gateway without creating the VLAN here. I'm going to go to this one and try to ping 10, 10, 10, 1. You see here, I should not be able to ping this one. So it is 100% loss. So I was not able to ping. So I go here and create the VLAN and show VLAN. I don't have VLAN 20. So conf T VLAN 20 name staff. And so easy way to let's do a self ping here. Pink 10, 10, 10, 1. And you see it pink immediately because this way you can populate the MAC address table easily. So come here, 20, and I'm going to pink. You are going to get the pink reply immediately. You know that here it took uh, some time to get the pink, but here I got that immediately because I initiated the MAC population just pinking the gateway itself. That way you can speed up the pink and MAC population. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pink this PC from this PC across the network. So I'm going to go here and pink 192, 168, 1.101. And I know it is not going to work. So to make it work, what I have to do is I have to configure the gateway in here. So I'm going to go to configure my gateway. My gateway is 10, 10, 10 10.1. So that has been configured. And see whether I can ping now. For sure, you will not be able to ping. If you go here. Again, the same, because for the inter-VLAN to work together, you need to enable routing here. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to come here, con P, IP, IP routing. Because before IP routing, if you look at show IP route, the route is empty. So con T, IP routing end and I'm going to go to Apero and show IP route. You see here now I have my routing table populated and these two VLANs are connected directly to each other. So let me go back here and try to ping again. You see I had 100% loss before. Now I go to try to ping, I should be able to get that ping going. Uh, not really, because I need to go to this PC 101 and I need to configure its gateway. Conf 
setting gateway is 192, 168, 1.1. Okay, that has been configured. I'm going to go back, try to ping again. Voila, you see it is working now. Hope you liked this video. If so, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my video, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification. And I will see you in another video. Thanks. Bye.